Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's currently October 4th on Friday and I'm about to head out in a few minutes to go to the mall and look for an outfit for Disney, which is next week, next Saturday. So this is also last minute, but I decided to do a Disney bound. I wanted to go kind of Halloween-y and have like wedding ears even. So I decided to just go with what I want to do and that is to go as Padme and Anakin and I love Star Wars. I don't think I've ever mentioned it on my channel before but I do love Star Wars. I love so many different fandoms and episode one through three came out when I was I think middle school. I love Padme so much. I think it was the first time that I ever like swooned and obsessed over wardrobe in a film because all of her outfits are just so beautiful. So I decided to go as Padme in her picnic dress and it's perfect because she wears yellow in this dress. I'm gonna show you it. And then Michael, I don't know what he's gonna do. He's just gonna be like a Jedi. So this is the outfit and as you can see, it's an off the shoulder top with a yellow sequined skirt and she has these buns which um, Princess Leia you know had and I think that that was really cool that they put Padme in this to kind of symbolize that. So I'm looking for like a floral top and the skirt and hopefully I can do this. It's also really cold outside. I'm just like finishing up my coffee. I have to eat something. The power actually went out which was wild for like a few minutes and I still have to film my Halloween decoration video, but it was so dark and gloomy and rainy yesterday that there was no lighting, so I decided not to do it yesterday. skirt over it though because this is not the vibe. This is the same dress. I'm gonna try on this one. At least I know how it fits. I like the top a lot and it's still off the shoulder. So this one fits the vibe. The material just absolutely sucks. It just needs to be belted like it's a corset. So I'm in Joanne Fabrics right now. I'm looking for something for the headpiece as well as maybe fabric. I might have to make a skirt if I can't find anything that will work, um, which is fine. An easy like circle skirt with some glitter. So I'm in the ribbon aisle and just going to look for some, it's like dark green and it's kind of intricate. This is the photo. So the piece around her hair is gold and then the headpiece is like green with flowers. I found flowers over here, but they don't have ones that are dark enough. Like they have orange and then they have pink, but they don't have dark red. Oh wait, they have these ones. So I'm back at home and I actually just filmed the Harry Potter Halloween decoration tour. So that's why I'm wearing this. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got for my costume and then just something that I picked up. It was the coat, yes. So to get the coat and I'm really excited because I don't have a coat this color and I've always wanted one and I'm really happy that I found a full zip version and it is soft on the inside which is awesome because I hate those coats that don't have something soft on the inside it's just like a fake thing and this is just so adorable. I also got this tank top that I'm wearing underneath this because I was so hot and I needed actually just a tank top that's like similar to my skin tone. And this was also from Express. I forget how much it was, it was really cheap. But it's really silky, no shelf bra because I remember like tank tops, they always had shelf bras. It is just the coziest thing. I love how big this collar is and the length is perfect on me. It has external pockets that, wow, they are all the way out here and they go all the way in. And then on the inside, 
It has this, which is also a pocket. So this is a coat that I do not need a purse. This is awesome. Also, sorry, it's so bright on my face. So hopefully that fixed it. This is the top that I got for my costume and it's a size medium. They only had size medium. So I actually have to alter it. So here it is. It has a corset detailing, which she is wearing a corset in the costume. So I figured this would be awesome. And it's actually one of those tops that's like that and you tie it behind your neck but I might just make straps out of it we shall see because I don't really like it when things are on the back of my neck it's just not comfortable for me and this I can just take in I'm just going to sew the sides up like thank god this is stretchy back here because that really helps I'm just gonna take it in and sew it and it'll be smaller and I don't think I have to wear a bra, which is going to be awesome because it's going to be like 82 degrees when we go. It's going to be so hot. Then I went to Michael's and I got supplies for the headpiece. I did draw up a mock-up on my iPad. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm trying to make here. So she has those bun buns. So I want the bun buns to be the ears and I have to crochet this fishnet. And I got a headband and these flowers on the top. And this is symbolizing green ribbon so hopefully it looks cute in this picture it's a pretty nice uh, theoretical idea of what it should look like so i got black felt for the actual ears and then this is the crochet yarn the one i found is by aunt lydia's crochet thread metallic 10 so it has like metallic in there it's really pretty and I had to get crochet hooks because I only have big ones. So I got this set. I got some candy melts because I want to make Oreo truffles. Um, I don't know when that will be. Probably not this week because there's no time. This is the green thread. Oh, I don't know why I got thin. I thought I wanted to get thick. And then I couldn't find any headbands that were just single headbands. Like, I hate that. Why don't they sell headbands for crafting? Like, they're always, like fun or something like that so this is a tree a tree pack this is a three pack so i'm going to use the black one so it blends into my hair you can't see it in there it's velvet i got these flowers and for the bodice i got these little flowers which i'm really annoyed about because i wanted just a couple of the colors in here but they don't sell a certain color just by itself so i really want this color and the light pink or that one but they don't sell it. So I had to buy two because there aren't enough of those colors inside. So now I'll have a bunch of little roses and they are in clusters of three on her bodice. So I'm going to be placing them on here and sewing them on in clusters of three. It's getting quite late. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the rest of the night actually because that was a long shopping trip, like four hours of just wandering about. My feet hurt really bad. I definitely know I want a cookie. <laughs> It's like all I can think about right now because I filmed the Halloween video. I might just put all this away and start over tomorrow nice and fresh. I think I'm going to edit the Halloween video because I want to upload that as soon as possible because it's October 4th and it's like already too late, I think, but it's fine. So I'm going to clean up. I'm going to wash my face and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So it is currently... 11 a.m. and I've been crocheting for the past couple hours. I started this tutorial on YouTube and it was so difficult and I was like, I don't think I have the patience or the hand movements because my hands are cramping up because this thread is so thin. So I decided to just make my own pattern and it's not even a pattern, it's just chaining a bunch and then sticking it and like making my own random fishnet. And I actually just put it on the ear. These are my ears that I got, um, I think, like five or six years ago. So I'm just using this as a pattern um, because I haven't made the actual ears yet. So here's what I've done so far. As you can see, the middle is a bit bunched up. So the middle is a little bit bunched because I realized that I had to make these chains longer. So the middle is kind of wonky. This might go on the back. I have to make ones for the front and the back. So I have to make three more of these. What's going on? He just loves laying on top of the table. It's so bad. I also want to mention that I'm kind of struggling with camera settings. Um, I feel like 
the neutral density filter on my camera like it's supposed to help um, brighten darken things but for some reason it's making things look fuzzy so i apologize if the quality isn't as good um, i'm still trying to figure it out hopefully this looks a lot better look at this guy he's being so bad Finally finished. I have four of these now and it keeps not focusing when I look away. Um, yeah, it took me quite a while to make these. They're looking pretty good and they each have a tail so I can sew around when I put them on the ears. So now I'm going to make the actual ears. I'm going to use this ear to make the circle and I have cardboard and I'm going to stuff it and all that jazz and start putting this together because hopefully I get them done by tonight because I just don't want to like prolong this project. Why is this not in focus? I'm going to go crazy. I've been sitting here for so long. So I've literally been working on this all day. It's like almost 5 p.m. and this is what I have so far. So I did the ear and I just sewed like, the felt circle together and I attached it on there. Um, that took a while because I sewed along the edges. This is not the right place to be putting it because there's hair on this bed, but this is a preview. I put the flowers on there so you could get the idea of what it's going to look like. And yeah, this was just the hardest part because I, I was trying to sew um, each peak together. I had to make one down here. I left like the good parts up top and then the bad parts underneath. And then I just attached it like that. I didn't glue it on. And I also made sure that the part that's underneath here isn't flat like this. I actually took a rectangle and like sewed it on so it has a nice flat base. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, it's pretty sturdy on there. I just have to do a whole other one. So I'm not sure if I'll do that today because I'm so tired and I've literally been sitting all day. Yes, he's got the bag. I'm so excited. The sushi is warm. Yes. What? Just one egg roll? Wonton soup. Time for food. <laughs> hey guys, it is currently Monday morning and I'm actually about to go to work. But before I go to work, I'm actually going to stop at Joanne's to get some more supplies because I actually finished my ears on Saturday, which is when I last saw you. And I decided to pretty much start over minus the crocheting because I decided to watch a YouTube video and do the ears over because they were just so big and I didn't want really big ears. I was honestly really stubborn. I didn't want to watch any videos. I wanted to just figure it out on my own, but I decided to go on YouTube and look up how to make them and I found a really good video, so I'll leave a link to this girl's video down below if you want to check it out. Yesterday, I actually went to another Forever 21, and I just want to address that I'm aware of fast fashion and how bad it is, and I honestly really avoid fast fashion, especially stores like Forever 21 and H&M and stuff like that, but I really don't go shopping a lot, which is my way of not contributing, um, but when I do, um, I am aware of what I'm buying and making sure that I really love it. But for this project, that's why I uh, had to go there because I knew that it would be hard to find um, things for this costume at other stores. And I did find some things at this Forever 21 that I really liked, so I'm going to share them with you just because I'm really excited. For the costume, I found two prospects. The first one, honestly, I got last minute and I didn't try it on. I'm going to return it because I don't like the way it fits. It is this skirt. It's too straight. I should have known. Um, it fits nice, but it's just not my style as far as it being like an A-line. I prefer an A-line cut. And these are all $5. And then I found this dress, which is the perfect color for the top. But it's one of those like dresses like that. There's no lining. This is kind of too big. 
So I'm thinking of doing some type of DIY, like cutting this elastic off and putting it on the inside. We shall see if I can figure it out. It's very long, so I have plenty of fabric to work with. The next thing I'm so excited about, it's this skirt that is black. And this is the kind of cut that I love. And it has like this lace up, it fits perfectly. Like I can't believe that I found a skirt like this. And I used to wear so many skirts um, basically all throughout my 20s, I love skirts, but it's so hard for me to find ones that fit me. I had to get rid of so many because they all became too small and old. So I uh, had to get rid of them. So yeah, these were just really exciting. So I got this skirt, this corduroy skirt, which is so like on trend and it fits perfectly and it has these pockets. It's just, oh my God, it's so nice. I love it. And then I found this dress that also fits perfectly, which is the problem I have with the Forever 21. Like, I hate that I love shopping there because things fit me. Things are actually small enough to fit me. And yeah, they're obviously affordable, but at a cost. So this dress is like that. This looks so cute with like a long sleeve top underneath and it's like a flare and I could wear like a belt with it. Ugh. And the pattern is like this really tiny plaid which i love i'm going to head to joanne fabrics i have to get really intense glue for my hot glue gun and i have to get fabric to cover the ears and i think that's all i have to get actually and i'm going to be making my own pattern making them smaller so i feel comfortable i'm also going to get headbands because apparently they have the single headbands in joanne fabrics but i cannot find them because <laughs> i don't know there's something wrong with me in the store and i just can't find the stupid thing so i'm gonna to have to ask somebody so i'm going to end this video and i'm going to save my ears as a surprise so the next time i see you guys i will be on the way to florida and that'll be in a couple days so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye